All right, welcome back, everybody. It's 13 minutes before the top of the hour. I just come across from Radio Park, as you know, spending the morning with Fresh. It was a really nice morning, I must say. I hope you enjoyed it. I can see from your your uh, tweets and responses that you enjoyed it, and especially the, the conversation with uh, with the advocate. It always is nice. But this was a particularly nice one, getting to hear the the other side of the advocate and that uh, that more personal side, which I think was which was quite nice to hear. All right, let's move on to another issue now. And this is a very, very serious issue. 20 years ago, a young lady, Alison, was left for dead after her attackers raped, disemboweled, and then slit her throat. Her inspirational story of how she survived the attack and became a victor was written in the book, I Have Life, Alison's Journey, by Marianne Tam. The story has been adapted into a stage production and will open at the Auto and General Theatre on the Square in Santon, Johannesburg. The play is directed by Marilyn van Rennen with Sue Ann Braun, who's taken on the role of Alison. And many of you know Sue Ann Braun, uh, a great face from television, <laughs> and now moving on to the stage to play a very serious, serious role. Good Indeed. morning. Good morning. It's so nice to see you. It's so lovely yeah. to be here. Thank you very much uh, for having me, albeit early for me. It is early, <laughs> I know. You were telling me you've been stuck in traffic for so long. I have. I'd so forgotten about Josie traffic. It's horrid. And it's horrid. Where I have mean, you been living? Uh, I've been in London for the last 13 years, yeah. and then prior to that, Los Angeles. So you think I would know about traffic. Uh -uh. But anyway, I'm here in You're one here. piece. And of course, Joburg's changed so what, much. What have you well. been doing there? Have you been on the, on the acting circuit? Is that what I have doing? indeed, yeah. I've done quite a lot of um, West End stuff in London. I was in Mamma Mia for two years in the musical, nice. playing Tanya, the spoiled rich one. Oh, mm. I love her. <laughs> love her. And uh, yeah, and then I did a musical called Cabaret, where I played Fräulein Kost, who uh, also a fantastic part. I was in a play called Onassis with Robert Lindsay, who I think is probably most famous here with, um, in my family, the sitcom My Family. Yes, yes, yes. And then quite a lot of TV. I've just finished a feature film with Pierce Brosnan and Emma Thompson. So nice, working, working, which is good. Ah, oh, you make us <laughs> proud. I'm so, so happy. Well, it, it, it's, an, it's an absolute honor to see you thank again. Thank you so much. Because I mean, I, I, I grew up watching you and, and I'm not giving my age away <laughs> or your age yes, away. Yes, 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 thank okay. you. <laughs> now, let's change tack because, yep. because this, as much as it is, um, an amazing theatre production. I mean, this is a serious, serious play that it must be very hard to have taken on this role. Well, do you know, it's funny because lots of people have said to me, oh, it's a very, very serious topic. And the topic is serious. But for me, the play and the story have never been harrowing. What happened to her is harrowing. But she is triumphant. She oozes and radiates life from every pore. And I felt that it was absolutely critical, both Marilyn and I, to tell this incredible story that she never once, in spite of these horrendous circumstances, chose to be uh, a victim. She is a victor, yeah. you know, and has risen like a phoenix triumphant out of the ashes. And um, I think that it's a, an incredibly critical play to tell now and a story to tell now, not just in South Africa, but all around the world. And I think it's a universal story because she is an ordinary woman who got in her car one evening and this hideous nightmare ensued, but it was how she dealt with it. And that for me has been the interesting thing and how we've been able to put that on stage and basically tell the triumphant side of the story. I mean, that's what we want to focus okay, on. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask you. Obviously, haven't not seen the production because yes. it's only starting You're now. You're going to have to come. I have to. <laughs> I do. I, I, but, but I'm scared to see it. Should I be scared? No. Is it, how, how am I going to feel when I leave? Because the, the, the story of Alison upsets me. Yes. Watching the play, is it going to upset me? Or am I actually going to walk out and think, what an amazing woman? I hope so. Our goal very much so is to empower the audience, both men and women alike, and for people to walk out and go, I'm so glad I went to see that. I feel like, yeah, it should be that feeling. And I think that we've worked very, very hard as a company uh, under the fantastic tutelage and guidance of Marilyn to make it that very, very positive uh, story. Because yes, the attack is harrowing, but it's done in a very clever way. It's stylistic. It's not a completely realistic uh, approach. And I truly think that this is a play that people will feel positive and empowered and she's going to be there too. So wow. what better living testament to have Alison at the end of the play going, I am here. 
That's amazing. I am life. So she w she actually walks out at the end of each production, is that right? Uh, no, she'll be here for this whole week because okay. we start previews um, tomorrow. Okay. So we preview Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the opening night is on Women's Day on Saturday. Yeah. And she will be there for this entire week. And I think leaves midweek next week because, of course, is also doing her talks as well. Now, it, um, has she seen this? Has she seen the production? She yet? has. She hasn't seen a full production, but she was here last week doing press with us and interviews and things and she came to a rehearsal and it was quite funny because we were all you know for I said to her it's been the weirdest thing because for me I feel like I've met a sister yeah. which is very odd because we didn't know each other at all before but we took one look at each other and just kind of went hello this yeah. lovely connection yeah. um, and I was very concerned that when we do it that it be done correctly mm. and obviously very worried about how she would react but she sat through it and she said she <laughs> she said something quite interesting that she said um, two things. She said, one, she wasn't going to ask her mom to come. And then she said, no, I do want my mom to come okay. after watching it, which I thought was fantastic. And then also the other thing is that she said, watching it, she suddenly went, how, looking at it, she went, oh, my goodness, this woman, meaning herself, yeah. has overcome so much. Well, how triumphant. It, it, it's almost an out-of-body experience for her watching this, I think this so. production. Because I, think I don't... Yeah. yeah, I don't think anybody realizes how strong she is. We realize, but I don't know if she does. No, exactly. And I think she, because it's just how she is, mm. I don't think she realizes, as you said, the, the profound effect that it has on people. And, and maybe that's a good thing, because then she's just able to be this amazing person. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's watched and given us her seal of approval, which that's, is amazing. I, that, that, that's the biggest honor you can get. Who else is in the production with you? Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing yes, some, I can some other <laughs> cast members. Who, who are they? Talk us through um, them. Well, we have uh, playing one of the attackers is a, an Afrikaans actor called Zach Hendricks, who's yeah. fantastic. Our cast is amazing. Um, David, if she's in the picture that's currently on the screen, yeah. at the back, was very brave and shaved his entire head so that he could look like one of the other attackers. Okay. So that's David De Beer. Uh, and then the other woman who plays my mom, my sister, uh, not sister, my mom, my best friend, um, female detective, that's uh, Shailene Tobin. And in the front and in the centre is Clayton Boyd. And behind me, Zach Hendricks. All right. Um, so we've got an amazing cast, Company of Five, a real family and a real tight ensemble piece. That's amazing. Just, uh, you, you, you you're based in the UK? Yes. Did you just come out for the production? I did. I How did you hear about it? I mean, did you did did did, did um, uh, Marilyn get hold of you and say, please, Sue Ann, this she, is your role? She did. Actually, it's an amazing story because we had lunch a year ago, sitting on the Thames. We were talking about inspiring <laughs> stories and inspiring women, and I'd said I wanted to do something back in South Africa. And she said, I said to her, what about the story of Alison? And she said, mm, yes, I know the story, but never read the book. And I said, you have to read the book. Yeah. And three days later, she phoned me and she said, I'm back in South Africa. I've read the book. Let's do it. Brilliant. And I just went, OK. Yeah. Because 16 years ago, I read the book and it profoundly affected me. But, and I wrote this long letter to Alison, which I never sent. And I sort of feel, for me, it's like I've been given a second chance to do this amazing piece. Wow. Um, and Have you sent the letter now? Have you given it to no, her? No, I think I've asked my husband, who arrives on Friday, to look for it, because I said to Ali, if I can find it, she must read she it. She must read it. Um, so you wrote a letter to someone you've never met who you're now playing on stage. Yeah. And now you know her. And like you say, it feels like you've been separated in Unbelievable. And, you know, we have That's lots incredible. of um, physical attributes that are very, very similar. We both have an identical cow's lick. Yeah. Uh, both have green eyes, similar shaped face. I mean, it's very, very odd that we we sort of looked at each other. We do look related. That is fantastic. Well, so it starts... Uh, previews from tomorrow night at uh, the Theatre on the Square. Opening night, Women's Day, the 9th of August, okay. and running till the end of August, until the, the 30th. Of August. Okay, you've got to get your tickets. Please book Compu Ticket. That's where you can get your tickets. Or phone the theatre directly. Uh, that's probably one of the best ways. The theatre is on the square. Get oh, online. online. <laughs> book online. That's the only way to do it. Sue Ann Bourne, welcome back. Home. I'm going to call it home. It is home. Okay, Thank good. You. I'm so glad. Uh, <laughs> Sue Ann Vaughan, who's playing Alison, I Have Life, Alison, 20 Years On, uh, written and directed by Marilyn Van Rennen, and adapted from the book by Marianne Tom, starring the one and only Sue Ann Vaughan. Let's take a break. We'll have you after this.